Today, I'm finally making the squash cake. It's been much requested, and I'm so happy to make it. I got this recipe from a friend, Darlene Zinsmeyer, in Wahlberg, Texas. So it's not this Darlene's cake, squash cake. It's my friend Darlene's squash cake. So let's get started on Darlene's table. Okay, we'll start with the dry ingredients, the flour, sugar, that's the cinnamon and salt, and the baking powder. So we'll mix these dry ingredients and then set aside. All right, now I have a cup of vegetable oil here. And to that, I'm gonna add the three eggs mix it well and the vanilla time to combine the liquid with the dry ingredients i'm going to also add in lemon zest it was it had a little bit of lemon juice in that that was to keep my lemon zest from drying out. So we're going to mix this until the flour is gone. Next will be the zucchini. I use zucchini. I use a box grater, cheese grater, and I used the fine side. And I did this yesterday and just put it in the refrigerator till I was ready to make it. You can use yellow squash or any other. I wouldn't, I don't know about butternut, but I think any of the summer squashes. And three quarter cup of pecans. We're gonna fold this all in until it's mixed well. I just oiled my pan. You can also oil and flour your pan, but if you do that, make sure you use a solid shortening and put it very thin, and then the flour, and shake out any excess. But it worked well just oiling the pan. Spread it out evenly, and on the top with another three-quarter cup of chopped pecans. I get my pecans from Birdall Farms. I love that place. Texas Pecan Company. All right, into the oven at 350 degrees for 45 to 55 minutes. My cake was actually done in 50 minutes. So we're gonna let it cool completely before slicing. Darlene squash cake. My husband slash videographer was very hesitant to make this video, so we asked our Facebook friends what they thought about a squash cake, and the overwhelming response was, don't listen to your husband, make the cake. Well, we did just that, and after tasting the result, well, I think I have won him over. This cake turned out perfectly, moist, flavorful, with just the right amount of sweetness. It definitely is a winner. So my videographer and I both want to thank our friend Darlene for the recipe and our Facebook friends for pushing us in the right direction. Of course, you can find this video on my new and improved website, darlenestable.com. Uh, husband, do you want to say something? Yeah, I was wrong, and I'm glad you were right. So that's it for the video. God bless and have a great day. Come back to see me soon right here on Darlene's Table.